Hi there Bosus, there is guild to be made pretty easily when the new patch drops and I find most players get lost and don't plan for the new patch simply because they just don't know what to look for. Especially when the new patch is going to bring new crafter sets for crafters, there's a lot you can do beforehand to really maximize and make millions of gil. And I don't mean that in the fake way, like make millions doing nothing. This will take a little bit of work, but it will really pay off. Also, if you're a dedicated Bosu, then make sure to like this video, as you know it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Now, before you click off, there is a way to make a ton of money without crafting or gathering, and this is for all of my battle class players, and that is using your tombstones of astronomy wisely. The materials needed prior to this patch for crafting mats are strictly from the current tombstone vendor. If you're only doing battle classes in zero end game crafting and gathering, then focusing on this alone, purchasing these materials and selling them on the market board are going to get you quite a lot of gill. Crafters are going to be needing these materials in excess to pre-make a lot of the HQ mats for the upcoming patch. As long as you've already picked up the relics you want for the Manderville quest, I would dump all your extra tombstones of astronomies here right now as we lead up to patch 6.3 and sell stuff on the market board. You'll also want a full set of tombstones 2000 leading into the drop of patch 6.3 since we're most likely going to get new mats for new crafter sets, which again, ideally are going to be purchased by tombstones of astronomy. Even now, a lot of these mats can sell for anywhere from 5k to 10k each depending on what the material is and how it's used. So I would just double check on your server and or the Universalis to see where you're at and price accordingly. Now if you are a crafter or gatherer, you will be doing that as well, but for you it will take a step further. After you acquire these tombstone materials, you will then acquire the relative legendary materials from gathering. These are the legendary nodes that are shown by acquiring the folklore tokens and buying the regional books. These are all current endgame nodes that you'll need these mats in order to pair with tombstone mats to craft. Making a ton of HQ mats beforehand will let you shortcut a lot of the process and allow for a higher chance of success when the patch drops for making money. Early bird gets the worm and all. A lot of people will not even want to craft their own crafting gear and you can just buy it off the market board. You'd be surprised how often this happens as well as how easily people run out of mats eventually and will drop millions in mats in order to craft the new gear coming out. A semi-materials list to stock up on will be the Masterbook 10 crafting items for all jobs, Paldeo Lumber, Illuminite Ingod, etc, etc, Tombstone mats, and Legendary mats. You'll also want some immutable solutions which are purchased through purple scripts and just hoarding in general because we don't know what the full list will be until the actual drop so it's just best to be prepared for everything. That was just for crafting gear specifically. Let's talk about materia. This is one of the items that shoot up in price during these patch drops and sells for a near 30k a piece sometimes or higher. You want to start stockpiling up these materia in order to meld your own gear and to sell. Melding won't be as important since the new gear is going to be better than the current gear with minimal to no melding needed, but that never stops anyone from melding their gear immediately once they get it. For those few extra precious stat increases right off the bat. Crafting material is going to be at the top of this list. Many questions I get is which material you'll need. This is hard to say until we actually see the gear stats as we never know if it's going to need more CP, more control, or more craftsmanship, and what the break tiers will be. Generally, I like to have a little more control material as that usually takes priority over the other two, but to have a good array of each is going to be important. And I'm not talking just about 10 materia and 9 materia. It's really important to get some lower level materias as if you only need 18 craftsmanship to max out craftsmanship, you wouldn't use a 27. Or you would even use something a little lower if it's going to get you to that break tier. So any of the materia for white scripts that are around 200 white scripts each are generally really good ones to max up on. Getting those white scripts are pretty easy just doing custom deliveries. You can gain materia a few different ways. Spirit bond farming, which is to say getting stacks of level 89 mats and quick synthesizing them, then extracting them from your gear. This is a specific build. And if you want a video on that, let me know. Ash 10 really has a good video on it already. If you have nothing else to do in game, then this is a valid method. The other way is purple scripts farming, which right now is culinarian. You will make the rarefied Sycon Boveris, which is the easiest. You can get Sycon Ovibos milk from retainers. The gelatin can be bought from the Crystarium vendor for only 10 gil each, which is a steal. The only crafted item is the palm sugar, which you can get by crafting palm syrup, which you can also attain by your retainers. 
Getting max collectability is pretty damn easy with this macro right here to which you can pause the video and copy it if you'd like and adjust it as you need for your stats. Also, peek that relic weapon looking good. If you want to learn how to get all your crafter relics pretty easily in about 7 hours then you can check out this video here. After you make a crap ton of these and buy 10 materials from script vendors, you can also pick up the immutable solutions because we don't know quite yet if we're going to need those. And those can skyrocket in price as well. There is one other way I want to make sure to mention which is from Island Sanctuary. Using the blue currency, you purchase craft material here which is insane to think about as once you rank up your Island Sanctuary to 10, it's all automated so it turns into a pretty easy and steady method for gaining materia which are invaluable for the new patch drops. I do truly believe this is going to affect the market since materia are now much more accessible to a lot more people. As you can see, just not even trying, I can purchase 27 level 10 materia and that doesn't account for all the currency I'm going to make up to the new patch. Lastly, if you are a super focused endgame crafter and gatherer, the new patch is also going to have an expansion of housing plots which means everything on the housing market is going to skyrocket. Verdant partitions are quite easy and fun to get, you just run St. Marvitoriums hard and you have about a 50% chance to get those from the last boss. At level 90 you can do this solo and it takes about 8.5 minutes or so. It is a gamble but well worth it even if you run it for an hour and get 1 or 2 drops that's almost a 1 million gain right there. And again I only recommend this if you're not crafting or gathering at all. If you are crafting and gathering then making any housing furniture and making it yourself it's going to be a huge market for when all those houses open and people are going to be looking to buy housing materials to stock their new home. My favorite last little tip that I feel like always everyone forgets is crystals. Since there's going to be so much crafting, every craft requires crystals and you can easily have your retainers gather these for quite the profit. Inevitably, everyone always runs out of crystals unless you know what you're doing and these goes for almost a hundred or more a piece on servers. I alone make a few million guild just selling crystals and having stacks of 9,999 in my retainers waiting to be sold. You can pretty easily amass that even if you're not at end game right now. As long as your retainers are over level 24 or 26, I can't remember which one, you can easily get those. Though of course it becomes more efficient as your retainers are higher because they bring back more crystals. I leave you with this to do what you will. I find it pretty easy to make money even if I'm not fully prepared and there are a few ways and things I like to focus on for that. Make sure to like and comment for the good boost in karma for this video and if you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials then you can click here.